Aubrey, no one understands how to get control of the situation because this is a mess cooked up by Todd and Carlos King to bring us the BS. Shamari said, leave your old group issues at the door. We're on our women's empowerment. Meanwhile, while Shamari's trying to get the group working, the gruesome twosome are out in the pool. They're upset they've become the villains and they don't need this. If you didn't need this, you wouldn't be here. Fallon said, I think it's intimidation. It's not intimidation. Y'all were just mean girly. Misha doesn't feel in her element because people aren't being welcoming and she's tired of being put on the old girl team. She want us all to work together and she want to shine. You want to put her on Rhino music while you on Sony. You see, this is why she doesn't feel like she's in her element because you're not even looking at her talent and seeing what she has to offer. You just assume you're more talented than her. And if you're so talented, then why are you on the show? However, Misha, you just have to deal with it. You running and hide and letting these little heifers get you in your feeling. Okay, Aubrey is trying to get the project together. Now you mad that Aubrey's trying to be cool with everybody? She's not playing you. She's just trying to get to the music and the money because Diddy got all hers. Now, I disagree with you on Aubrey needing vocal training. She just needs a better voice. Meanwhile, in the house, Aubrey's talking with the cute songwriter. Aubrey's like, look, some of these heifers can't work together. The twins is like, look, we the songwriters, we want the respect on our name. Some people just being lazy, here for the check and the free wine, Keely. Child, Elijah said, well, look, in terms of success, they've had the least amount. Now, they may have had one little number one, but I got five songs charting on the top ten. So now Elijah wants to know, oh, oh, so I'm not in control of this project here? Oh, okay. I know what it is, I do. So now Irish is going to try to mend the tension between Keely and Aubrey. For what? Keely's still stuck in Broken Promises Promises mindset. She never grew up. Keely said, oh yeah, that heifer reached out to me before we got on the show and tried to get in good. Aubrey's smart. Aubrey is going off. I did your fucking job. I created this fucking show. You don't do shit in this house. You don't direct. Okay, Keely, she's giving you the smoke. I mean, I, I guess because there's no chicken there, you can't fight back. Now, Aubrey is not being the best queen, but also somebody needed to get Keely together. And the twins is being mighty quiet. Keely, yes, Aubrey has turned herself from Danity Kane to a reality TV star because Diddy ran those pockets. However, what are you? What are you? Because again, if you have time to be here, then you had nothing going on. And you're clearly not missing an opportunity to be on TV. Even though you're not singing and not creative directing. You're drinking though, you're definitely drinking. Could you not afford to go to the wine country so you came here? Is that what it is? It seems like that's what it is. So back in Cedar's world, she wants to know why the girls can't get it together. So now we've got to come up with a band name. I'd call, let's see, the Yesterdays. The Remember Wins. The Who. Not the Who, the Who. So Fallon and Felicia are going to have a Ponderosa with Misha since they've been picking on her all this time. So Misha gonna accept their little apology, but she got her good eye out for him. So Pam gonna head up our gospel track. Girl, the look on Fallon and Felicia's faces when Misha started singing, they were like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna turn our nose up, we're not gonna turn our nose up, but we need to because it stinks. Aubrey got no soul. How are you gonna say I don't fuck with gospel and your fans don't fuck with it? Everybody ain't as soulless as you. You could probably use some Jesus in your life. Pam talking about I was a liar and a manipulator. What girl you turned out? Keely is finally doing something. She meeting with the choreographer. Oh, but then in walks Aubrey with her vision board. Aubrey is not queen to fuck you over and you had nothing to offer. Aubrey's queen because she actually came with an idea and she wants to get things done. Keely said, the person who's where the work is, is me. What work? What work have you done? You have worked your way through the Franzia. That's about it. See, Fallon and Felicia and Arby are trying to get an actual hit out this. That's why they the only ones on the song. Keely gonna say, other people want to take a stab at that, babe. 
Well, you don't want to take a stab at anything, so why don't you take a stab at shutting up? Shamari says, well, I want to be on Skeletons. You're doing the choreography for skeletons in my closet instead of lesbians. Should be lesbians in my closet, especially with y'all. But Aubrey isn't there. Wow, Irish almost sounded good when you were blending her voice. Oh my goodness, Nivea wants to put the pasta arm in her pussy. Nivea can't go a day without dick. Then again, no one should have to. And so now, the shit Aubrey started by running and telling Elijah what the twins said has come back to roost. He walk in, he say, oh, we about to have a little convo. But is he going to tell them who brought it to his attention? And of course, Fallon said, Aubrey. So they said, oh, no, we ain't on that energy. That's not true. And they do have a point. If it was, she did not need to bring that to his attention. But, you know, she messy. That's why she couldn't be together in her first group. Carlos knew he could get several dysfunctional personalities together to give us entertainment for pennies on the dollar. And, ooh, some of these voices ain't even worth that. Pam wants Aubrey to be on the gospel track, but I don't know if Aubrey's down like that. She might burst into flames if she tries to sing to the Lord. She probably mad at God because Diddy got all her money and she's turned into Miss Piggy. So we looking for Aubrey to finish this song and she comped out. Oh God. So they finally get her up and her and her morning breath go downstairs to record. Ooh, oh, I don't know why people think she can sing. Oh God, no. That was a caterwaul. And by that, I mean it sounded like a cat trapped in the wall. Elijah said, when she sings, I just don't feel the Holy Ghost. Honey, even God sang, shut up. I don't know why the vocal coach is here. We ain't going to get no better in 30 days. On the song where Aubrey's supposed to be taking center stage, she can't get the timing. No, she can't get the pitch. She can't get the key. Lamisha God say, you know, I don't want anybody off the record, but the timing is crucial. Lamisha, you trying to slide your happy butt in there, but you don't have the range either. So we gonna give her part to Shamari because she's the only one that can sing it. Shamari like, whoa, 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 I, I ain't stealing nobody part. But we have to do what's best for the record. So Aubrey's off. Wait, how Aubrey gonna throw a party and say, oh, well, uh, Irish gonna take over because, you know, I got the bubble guts. How are you gonna say you haven't slept in a couple days when we've watched you do nothing but now? So we gonna be telling each other's business with this game tonight. So we go from fun questions like celebrity crush to who in this house should be replaced? Keely. So Fallon gonna say, I think the queen should be replaced. Keely's pointing out how unpresent Aubrey has been and Shamari said, well, we could vote the half hour. Meanwhile, Aubrey's upstairs dogging the girls out to somebody she on the phone with. Back downstairs, we get into what this group name gonna be. It should be the whispers, because that's as loud as you should be allowed to sing. So Nivea comes up with the name, The Blueprint. You may be blueprints, but those are some flawed plans. All right, well, that was the shit.